hello and welcome to tutorial for your channel in this video i will do my best to help you solve this frustrating error if you find this video helpful please give this video a like now let's jump right in and fix this error together search for services and open it find the vgc services right click on it and select properties make sure that the starter type is automatic and the services is running if not then click on start and then click on apply and click on ok if you get error 1 watch this video link in the description to begin we will close every instance of this game you can do this by searching for task manager open it you can also exist vanguard from here Next in the task manager find any instance of the game right click on it and select end task after that go to the startup tab and disable Riot games and vanguard once you have closed all the instance of this game we can proceed to uninstall valorant and Riot vanguard i will provide two method in case one doesn't work for you method one search for control panel click on uninstall a program find valorant and royal vanguard in the list right click on them and select uninstall method 2 search for apps and features look for valorant right click on it and select uninstall you can do the same for royal vanguard after installing valorant android vanguard valorant android vanguard will be removed from your pc but droid games might still be present to remove Riot games completely right click on it and select open file location this will take you to the installation directory of the Riot game in my case it's located in c drive simple right click on Riot games and select delete at this point about 90 percent of Riot games will be deleted however there is one folder left search for percentage local app data percentage and open this folder look for valorant and delete it here you will also find droid games delete it as well additionally search droid games in your search menu select open file location and delete droid games from the start menu as well finally go to your desktop and delete droid games from there as well don't forget to empty your recycle bin and there you have it. I have completely eliminated Riot games from my computer. Then restart your computer to ensure all the changes take effect. To download and install Valorant on your PC, to begin, open your web browser and go to playvalorant.com. You can also find the link in the video description. Click on the download button to start the download. Once the download is finished, run the installer and click on the install button to install the game launcher on your PC. Now I will guide you through steps to exclude specific Valorant file from being scanned by Windows Defender. Open virus and threat protection. You can do this by searching for virus and threat protection in the start menu. Open it. This will take you to the virus and threat protection setting. Scroll down till you find exclusion section and click on add or remove exclusion link. Give the permission yes and click on this add and exclusion button and select file. Now you have to navigate to where your Valorant is download. My is in C drive. So you can see the Roid game folder. Click on the Roid game folder and from there select Valorant live folder and select this veteran application file add this path first now we will add the second path you can see the shooter game folder click on this go to binaries go to win 64 folder and scroll down until you find valorant win 64 shipping select this and click on open so this is the second path now let's add the third path click on add and execution again select file now you have to go back where the valorant and the shooter game folder was in the live folder go to engine this time now select binaries again and go to win64 again now you have to scroll down till you find this cef sub processes
now the fourth path is right client so you have to go out of the valorant folder and go to right client folder in the right client folder select this right client services and click on open now this is our fourth path and now our fifth and the last path is you have to go to your program files in c drive and in that folder you have to find Roid Vanguard. Open that folder Roid Vanguard and here you can see the VGC. So there will be two VGC. The one VGC which is black and white is the icon and the other VGC is the application. You can see the type of that also in front of that. You can see one is icon and one is application. You have to select the application one and click on open. So these are the five paths which we have to add in exclusion. You can also remove this path if you want. I will write these paths in the description also so you can check that out if you haven't understand it. By adding this exclusion, you can ensure that Windows Defender doesn't block Valorant from running. It's important to note that excluding files from scanning does come with some potential risks. Has it mean those files will not be checked for malware? Therefore, do this step on your own risks. It's likely indicate a problem between Valorant and Windows Firewall. This can become more complex if you have antivirus software running alongside your device built in security measures. Fortunately, there are few important steps you can follow to resolve. To begin, it is crucial to ensure that Windows Firewall recognizes and permits Valorant. Follow this instruction to achieve that. Open the Windows search bar and type Windows Defender Firewall. Open it from the search result. Choose this option allow program through window firewall click on change settings remove any existing entries for valorant android client and vanguard the first one is called bootstrap packaged game click on the list and click on b on your keyboard to find it then select it and click on remove the second one is called roid client select it and click on remove and the third one is called Vanguard User Mode Service. Select it and remove it also. Then add a new one using the Allow Another App button. Browse to the location where you have installed Roid Games. Mine is in C Drive. In that you will find Roid Games. In Roid Games folder go to Valorant. Open the Live folder. Now select this file name Valorant. Now click on it and then click on the add button to add the new firewall exception. Select all the checkboxes for the bootstrap package game in the firewall exception list. Now repeat the same step to add another exception. This time we will add Roid client. Now we will go to the same location in our C drive in Roid games. But this time we will select Roid client folder and in that select this Roid client services file. Now once again and the last time we repeat the same process to add the Vanguard user mode file. It's located in our C drive in program files. Find Droid Vanguard. Open this folder and in that select VGC file. Make sure it's type its application. Check all the boxes for these three files and then click on OK. After completing this step, open the game again. This time run it as an administrator. You should see that the game will start working again. If none of this solution work for you, don't worry. I have a complete list dedicated to the Valorant errors. You can find the link to the playlist in the description below. If this video has helped you, please give this video a like and if you want to support this channel, hit the subscribe button. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.